Yeah, this is going to be a long haul. Um, yeah, apologies up front if the if I drone on a bit this week. Uh, uh, it's been a bit hectic. I'm uh, home alone with the kids this week, and it's a bit of a juggling act to to say the least. Uh, but the show must go on, and uh, and so it will. So I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back to this week's episode. Uh, this week I thought I'd do a quick video, uh, just touch on the, the Atlanta um, convention, the Hot Wheels convention that just finished this week in past. I did mention it in the previous video uh, that it was happening at the time of recording. Um, I also mentioned that I don't really, it, like the convention cause um, is not really something that I've ever pursued actively. Um, there are a couple of guys, uh, local guys, that have made the journey uh, to this convention and previous ones before. But for South Africans, that's that's quite a trip. Uh, so it's usually guys that have some sort of uh, business uh, matters to attend to as well while they're in the state, uh, and then they pop into or pop into the convention uh, over that weekend as well. It's um, yeah, but it, it does look like uh, uh, quite quite the fun gathering. Lots of sales, like they book out the hotel rooms and the guys. Um, I'll, I'll put up some pictures as well uh, a little bit later on um, as to what the rooms look out the look look like. Uh, so the guys flood the rooms, um, they scatter their stock, uh, and then attendees and guests can just venture from floor to floor, from room to room, and do trades, meet up with uh, sellers, favorite sellers, uh, strike deals, uh, and yeah, it looks like looks like quite a fun time. Um, and as mentioned in the previous video, I, like I said, I, I don't actively pursue convention cars. Uh, I do have three um, in my collection, but uh, uh, only two different ones. I have two, two of the same. I did have another one uh, which I sold off a couple of years ago as well. Um, yeah, it's it's usually the main reason is um, guys tend to pay full price for the. I mean, they're, they're pretty expensive if you buy them at the convention um, yourself. But, but so so usually people try and buy a couple so that they can resell uh, their extras to sort of um, fund their trip or, or reimburse their, their trip. Um, so they can become very expensive on the secondary market very quickly. Uh, there's usually one or two standouts in a set, um, so those become the ultra expensive ones. Um, but still, I mean, even the ones that that don't. I'm looking at the um, one of the, the the two that I have was, you know, they they weren't very popular. But I love the A100 casting. So this I, I absolutely went after the casting. Um, it's highly detailed. Uh, it's it's a it's obviously full premium. It has uh, all of the convention details usually somewhere on the car itself. Uh, so even if you take it out of the packaging, which usually people don't tend to do because you sort of lose the obvious designation as to what convention it comes from. Um, but yeah, you you'd have some some indication as to from as to what convention it was from. Um, but even these, they're pretty expensive. I mean, I got these at a good price and they were still a good $60, $70 back in 2019. So, yeah, they're, they're pretty expensive. Uh, so that means that on the secondary market, uh, that, that only increases. And especially because these, I mean, I'm looking at the numbers. These were um, numbered at 4,000 pieces. So that's... That for for, for for these days for like uh, uh, modern modern releases for Hot Wheels that those that those are low low numbers. Um, these two aren't very far apart in numbers number uh, nine nine twenty nine and nine thirty three, uh, so very close to each other. And then the other one that I have is from two thousand seventeen, uh, which was sort of in the um, in the middle of the gas craze. Um, this uh, was also known as the um, the pink uh, candy striper gas, uh, uh, sort of the sister car to that, uh, the wicked gas. Uh, um, so that was yeah uh, one of the one of the other premium gas releases uh, during that sort of the high period. Um, 
but wait, there's more. Hi again, it's uh, Vian from Two Days in the Future while I'm editing this video. I don't know how I missed this one. I actually had this one in mind the whole time while I was planning this video. And when I went through the the, the Tupperware uh, bin that I uh, that I store the cars in, I just I just didn't dig far enough to get to this one. So this one is the um, the Willis Gasser uh, from the 2020 Los Angeles uh, convention. Uh, quite quite uh, quite well paired with that um, with that 55 Gasser, uh, the Wicked Gasser, uh, both both in that really. Uh, blood red spectra flame playing paint uh really nice anyway yeah i'll i'll get back to the uh back to the video back to the slides i got this one also at a fairly good price otherwise i wouldn't have bought it but i'm looking at the numbers here uh only 2800 of these so, i mean these are low low numbers by today's standards um so these are still what you could consider rare uh and, and very limited additions uh, like i said these days they go up to about i think six thousand six thousand units or releases maybe a little bit more um yeah that's i mean so these are these are pretty rare uh i think a lot of people uh, tend to because they are so expensive um they tend to focus their collections on either getting only the ones that they want or the completionists the, the guys that Go to conventions and they buy the whole the whole lot. Uh, so you have either two or three uh, souvenir cars per per convention. Uh, you have a dinner car, which is uh, sort of the final car in the set. You have a um, a charity car, which uh, later usually becomes it's those the, 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 those pink cars. Uh, they become RLC releases later on. You have the newsletter cars. Uh, there's usually it's one casting, but in a variety of colors. Sometimes different designs uh, per car, and then you have a variety of pins, badges, patches, um, and so forth for each convention. Um, so, so you, you, I mean, you obviously get the guys, the attendees that, that that pocket the whole lot, and they go each year, and so they build up quite a, quite a collection like that. Um, so that's a good way of, of doing it, is actually going there and picking them up yourselves. Uh, they have limited the sales uh, to, to the attendees to, uh, I think. Two or three per person attending um so still obviously very limited numbers um you aren't gonna walk away uh with like two dozen of these um so yeah still makes makes them very rare people tend to hang on to these um for longer um but yeah I'd, uh, i mean there's there's lots to be said for these cars they are uh Full premiums. Uh, the cards are uh, in mint condition when you get them, and that's saying something these days. I mean, we've had so many issues with quality control over the last couple of years um, that that getting stuff on cards like these is is absolutely unheard of. Um, it has crispy corners, sorry, crispy corners all the way around, uh, straight cards. Uh, they come in official Hot Wheels protectors, obviously, uh, all of them. So, uh, real premium stuff. Um, I will flash up uh, what I thought I'd do for the second part of the video is just flash up some of the um, my picks uh, from from the convention just passed. Uh, ma mainly focused on um, future RLC drops, so cars that will be released during the course of this year. Maybe some of the, they usually uh, bring quite a spread. They usually pack that on the table. Um, so some of the cars, they don't get released in, in the current year, they tend to sort of just flow over to the next year. Um, and also maybe just the, the, the Super Treasure Hunts uh, to look out for. And it's hard to believe that they're already previewing, I mean, all of these that, that we saw now, they're going to be for either very late um, 2024. I don't think any of the ones that we saw were for 2020. Four, I think most of them for 2025 already, and it's only it's only April, so yeah, we we're getting quite quite ahead of ourselves, um, and that's it. Yeah, I'll I'll flash up some pictures uh, down below. I'll link a couple of videos uh, that guys made of the sort of experience of the whole convention. Um, also, uh, videos of um, they usually the, I mean they don't mind. You can sit there with your camera during the the presentation part, uh, so where they show all the slides of 
uh, upcoming, you name it, uh, main lines, um, the uh, store exclusives, uh, any of the new series that they have, like uh, uh, maybe uh, retail specific haulers, um, those silver series, which, which some of them are also um, retail specific. Uh, what else? All of them. Uh, premium lines, car culture lines, uh, some boulevards thrown in. Um, so all, all of that gets previewed and the guys film the whole like slideshow uh, and then post that. So I'll, 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 I'll pick a link of somebody that did one thoroughly. Uh, and then also there's a Facebook page. I'll link to the Facebook page as well. Um, there's one for the convention just passed. Um, it's sort of a resource for people to post uh, you, some of the sellers um, put up pictures and directions to their rooms uh, for stock that they had available and just where to find them in the hotel and then obviously some of the guests and attendees um, just put up you know all of their halls when they got back to their rooms that's mostly put like scattered on on hotel beds and everything uh, so yeah that's that's quite cool if, if, if that's the sort of thing that you're looking to attend you'll get a nice idea of, of maybe uh, you know what it what it entails and what it what, what to expect uh, also, I'll, I'll see if I can link uh, Sean Nicholas's uh, video. I just watched it earlier this evening. Uh, he does a his first video. He's also divided up into days. His first video covers the registration uh, process and he picks up all of his stuff, uh, his souvenir cars, his um, uh, like a sort of gift pack uh, for the weekend. So you, you get to see sort of the whole in and out of, of what it, what it's like when you when you attend one of these. Uh, so we'll try and link that down below as well. Okay, so uh, we'll get onto the slides, and uh, uh, after that, um, uh, I'll put put up just the, the quick links um, to those to those other pages. And uh, if you have any other questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you again next week. Keep up. Cheers.